boys and girls basketball, fans of all ages, welcome into Arthur E. Staff Gymnasium for tonight's matchup. It's the Durfee Hilltoppers, the Brockton Boxers, a big three clash. Brockton wins, they get a share of the big three title and automatic bid into the MIAA playoffs. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Save the biggest game of the week for big game, Miles Jackson. Miles, we've had a rotating chair, a rotating door color commentary this week. Tuesday night, Sonny Oak and Lola from the boys team. All right. Wednesday night, Alex Gennaros. Big game Friday night, big game, Miles Jackson. I'm here. Let's hopefully we'll have a good game. Like you said, this is the big three. So it's always girls, boys. It's always a um, good competition. Good effort by both sides um, when the big three teams play each other. There is quite the matchup at center. It's Shaylin Carrero for the Hilltoppers and Alicia Fernandez for the Boxers. Carrero winning the opening tip. Yeah, it looks like uh, Boxers going out man-to-man uh, -man on defense. It's a good takeaway for number 12, Katera James. Now Montero's on the floor. Foul. Wow. Abby Kelly. So this is the third leg of three this week here at Staff Gymnasium for the boxers. Ooh, nice Good touch win. by Wint. She was going right to the basket, got the pass, didn't even put it on the floor, and put it nicely. Boxers draw first blood. This is Carrera now in. First shot, no good. Fernandez with the rebound. So Tuesday night, blocking and falling to Bishop Fian, 63 to 50. That score running theme this week. The Boxers defeating Notre Dame Academy here Wednesday night by that same score. The matchup everybody's talking about is Jade Went for three, no good. Matchup everyone's talking about, Miles. Sunday afternoon, Super Bowl Sunday. Super matchup here at Staff Gymnasium. It's the Brockton Boxers men's team against the Newton North Tigers. The two top ranked teams in the state. Wint grabs the rebound, she is triple team. And now to Nelani Montero, her yeah. off the glass. Wind. Nice job by Montero, she had somebody right on her. Nicely put it up off the glass. Tia Rivera. Over Callahan, back to Rivera. Callahan called against Katerra James. Durfee wearing their away red jerseys with white trim around the black. Numbers brought in their home whites red trip around the black numbers and Fernandez call for the travel. She knew that one was coming. Yeah, yeah, she saw it. She knew it. James, three, good. It's four to three. Brockton on top. Elizabeth Williams. Thought she was hurt earlier in the week. She had two points against Bishop Fian, and clearly something was off. She was wearing her little sister's shoes, heavily favoring her left side because her feet were too big for the shoes. Wednesday night, she had a pair donated by, I believe, the volleyball coach. And she just completely dominated. Who is this? This is Elizabeth Williams. And she's wearing those same shoes tonight. Gave her a little luck. Wanna be like Mike. Wanna be like Mike. So there's the pass intended for Callahan out of play. Tarot 
ball to Jade Wint. Went to Jayla Smith. And now to Williams. Williams to Montero. Back to Williams. All the way across for Smith. Now to Wint. Good ball movement for the boxers. Wint's three is good. Boy, Jade Wint's really improved on her outside shooting. That was beautiful. Felt she, you could see she felt very comfortable taking that outside shot. She's really perfected it over the uh, course of the season. Push called against Jayla Smith. And this is Rivera. Rivera down low, her fastball over to James. And Callahan working way inside. Throws it off the left arm of Williams who picks it up. Might have been a shot, might have been a pass, but it was deflected. And Fernandez is called for the block. Good work. Number 33, Nicole Parks. Yeah, Fernandez almost had her feet planted, but a split second, the offensive play already made contact. And that's gonna, you're gonna hear a whistle most of the time. First attempt is Parts. Seven to three, halfway through the first quarter. Brock on top. Lane violation on the Hilltoppers, so the shot will not count. looking press. Durfee's allowing Brockton to break it. Seemingly willing. Jalen Smith's three, no good. Three, Kelly, and no good. Oh, Fernandez, nice job getting that ball out on the transition. Brock from behind. You can see she really handles that basketball well on the transition. She can dribble it with her left as well as with her right coming down the court with pressure on her. And she's going to go to the free throw line. Annalie Lorenzo now in for Jayla Smith. 30 points on Wednesday night for Fernandez. That is nearly half of the boxers total on the night. They put up 63 on the Cougars. Wow. I don't know. Yeah, I thought she had all ball too. I don't know how the ref could call that. His back. I mean, he was facing Fernandez's back. He was just assuming that when she went around the uh, ball carrier's body that uh, contact was made. But from our angle, there was no contact except for the ball. Tennis in for Fernandez. Barrow oh, down low. Gets a deflection. Out of play off of Brockett. Lady Boxers working real hard, making it tough for the Durfee Hilltoppers to uh, inbound the basketball. There they go. Rivera at the top of the key is just on the Montron thing when they come to the game. Brockton trying to come up with a steal to Tara James. Three, no good. Offensive board for Parks. Her three is off the front of the rim, no good. Another offensive board and stepping out of play was Callahan. Yeah, the coach for the Hilltop is encouraging his team to keep fighting out there. They're bound to fall sooner or later. Yeah. 
went to Montron. Her three is no good. Hilltop has come up with it. James to Callahan. Back to James. Cross for Rivera. Callahan. A block called on Tannis. Yeah, she ran right into the ball carrier. Playing defense. Callahan in for Carrero. Another foul called on Tannis. Yeah, that looked like a foul there, definitely. She came over the back of uh, Carrero. There was contact. Seven on the shot clock, now five. Carrero's gonna get rid of it. Two, a last second shot, it's not gonna go. It's a shot clock violation on the Hilltoppers. Discussion is the shot clock was never reset on the foul call on tennis. It's going to be a dirty ball here, two minutes to go in the first quarter. But 22 seconds on the shot clock. Yeah. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Durfee's ball. 202 in. Oh, like the referee explained it to uh, Coach Kelly. Just to realize they don't have the full 30 seconds. Right. Eight seconds down. Ooh. Parks off the glass. Really tennis with the rebound. Oh, that was an athletic rebound by Parks with Durfee. Unfortunately, she couldn't finish the shot. Tough shot underneath the basket. Point three. Over. Gets her own rebound, but tips it right to Parks. Parks full head of steam. Leaves it for James. First shot, air ball, right to Tannis. Wint comes up with it, loses it to Callahan, gets it back again. Tannis, Monchon, intercepted by Carrera. And Monchon should have took the shot. Fast paced game right now for the, uh, but for both teams. Carrera, three steals on the night so far. That's good defense by uh, Williams without fouling Carrero. Made Carrero miss the shot. Here's Williams in for Wint, out for Montron. Montron, three, no good. 0 for 2 from beyond the yard for Montron. Working away inside, loses it off of Kutera. Montron touched it, so it'll be a dirty ball. Smith and Montero back in, Lorenzo and Montron out. Thirty-seven seconds to go in the quarter. Eight to five, boxers up by three. Side. Someone committed him over the back there, not far. Proctor comes away with the ball, 18 seconds to go. It was with Williams up for Jade Wint. Wint, three, no good. And a jump ball call, little Ryan Proctor ball with 10 point four to go. If you Jade Wint there, you gotta waste more time off the clock yeah. before you shoot that. Has it now. Loses it, picked up by the Hilltoppers. Four on the block. 
last second three. No good. good attempt there by Nicole Parks at the end of the first quarter. It's eight to five. A lot of hustling out there. Just nobody can put it in the basket consistently from both sides of the uh, team, on both sides of the court. The story all week has been Annalisa Fernandez's foul trouble. She fouled out of that game Monday, uh, Tuesday night, excuse me. Uh, halfway through the fourth quarter, she had her fifth personal foul. On Wednesday, she had four fouls through most of the second half. And she's already got two against her tonight going into the second quarter. Yeah, well, Fernandez, she, she plays tough when she's out there on defense. And uh, sometimes her aggressiveness can be uh, Achilles, where she can get in foul trouble being so aggressive. Same five for the Hilltoppers, Parks, Carrero, Rivera, Callahan, and James. The Brockton, their five starters back in the game, Jim Smith. Montero, Fernandez, Witt, and Williams. So Callahan to Rivera. Back to Callahan, top of the key. They travel somewhere in there on Callahan that wasn't called. Foul. I think they're going to get Montero for this one. Yeah, that was a close call, almost a foul by uh, Fernandez, but Montero was in there too, so foul was on Montero. Excuse me, Montron. That is Montero in about 11. And Parks in for James, short too good. It's a one point ball game, 8 to 7, Brockton on top, 7 15 left in the second quarter. Elisa Fernandez for a win intercepted by Rivera. Quarter too much on it for Rivera out of play. Her three is good. Ooh, nice shot by Fernandez. That was way downtown for three. And she tries, almost comes up with a steal. Oh, almost calls for the push on yeah. James. Just like that. Well off the glass. Seven Brockton. Fernandez Smith, her three off the mark. James with the rebound. James deep three is no good. Fernandez with the rebound. It's gonna be some very padded stats tonight, Miles. Yeah. If the score decides to shoot up. A lot of double doubles because there is a lot of rebounds going to a lot of different players. Too much on it. That was a foul on number 14, Catherine Callahan, not called. Went long two, no good. Guerrero with the rebound. Went. Good job by Went. Lady Boss is keeping their hands up on defense. Perfect example of what happens when you keep your hands up on defense. Wow. Yes. Bad angle, one handed prayer. Prayer, exactly. Two-point ball game, Fernandez three, bang. She felt that, you could see it in her posture. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that was a good call. She traveled before the contact was initiated. Too much mustard. three-point lead for the boxers, Miles. Yeah, they, uh, Durfee's really hanging in there. Boxers um, doing a pretty good job here in this second period. But still low scoring game, 14-11. A lot of shots, a lot of uh, stolen passes, a lot of rebounding, as you said, because a lot of missed shots. Last game before Super Bowl Sunday. Stay tuned. End of the third quarter. We've done all week. Super Bowl predictions. End of the third quarter. Start thinking about it now. Okay. End of the third quarter. Super Bowl predictions. 14-11. Boxers up by 3-4-40 to go in the second quarter. Rockford trying to clinch a berth in the MIWSL sectional tournament. Right now, it's been a one-two punch between Wynn and Alicia Fernandez. Jump ball called, and it'll be a blocking ball. Yeah, nice job Fernandez going coming to the pass because she saw the defensive play approaching. So she went right to the ball as it was passed. Good heads up play. Fernandez thought about the three, gives it off to Williams. Five on the shot clock, Williams shot no good. Smith strapping for the rebound, it's taken by Terry James. Down low off of the assist of Parks. Yeah, just breakdown on defense. That was too easy. Good play by uh, the Lady Hill Toppers. Montero to Wink, out to Fernandez. Callahan coming up with the loose ball. Three minutes to go in the second quarter. by Fernandez, uh, excuse me, Williams. Uh, Williams has the ball. Down for Wint off the glass, no good. Gets her on rebound, tries to oh, get nice it. job. Good. Nice effort by uh, Wint. Fighting for that missed shot, got it, put it back up and in. Hart's looking for Carrera. Nice job by Wendt coming down, planting her feet, stationary for the for the charge. Going to go against Nicole Parks, Anoush Alimon into the game for Callahan. Lorenzo back into the game, she replaced Nelani Montero. Oh, the Peter's going to come in for Crockett. Went to Lorenzo, three is no good. But Fernandez offensive rebound. Lorenzo tipping it to Jayla Smith, who got it to Went top of the key, three is good. Yeah, Went's hot from the outside this evening. Two 
8.08 to go in the first half. It's 22 to 13, a nine point edge for the boxers. And Coach Kelly of the Hilltoppers calling a timeout. Yeah, I feel a lot of positive energy coming from our lady boxers out there on the offensive end. These last uh, three or four minutes, uh, the Lady Hilltoppers kind of creeped close to the uh, Brockton, Lady Brockton boxes, but then all of a sudden the boxes put on their uh, shooting display, started hitting those shots. Miles Wint and Fernandez going haymaker for haymaker from beyond the arc. Yeah, and that's just what they need, and, and might as well go ahead and develop it now because that's what they're gonna really need in the playoffs. 2-13, Brockton looking to make it two of three on the week. Back to back wins. Defeating Notre Dame Academy Wednesday night. Hockey game tomorrow over at AZF. Four o'clock puck drop. Again against St. Peter Marion. It should be nice and cool in the ring. Balmy, maybe seven degrees. We're up for Parks. Across to Alamon, her two, no good. Parks down low, spinning off the glass, no good. Getting her own rebound, however. Yeah, that was nice D there, I believe by uh, DePina, who just stepped in, had her hands up, blocked the pass, turnover. Ball movement's the name of the game for Brockton. DePina's three, no good. Fernandez took the rebound out of the foot. comes up with it. Fernandez yeah. now, off the glass, no good, but she's fouled. Yeah, Fernandez made that play happen, S made the anticipation on the pass, tipped it over there to Williams. Williams was smart enough to dish it back off to Fernandez, and uh, she's gonna be at the free throw line. Fernandez a very, very good free throw shooter. Eight of nine at the line. It's Notre Dame. Rivera in, Callahan out. Parks full of steam in the paint. Florida is good. Yeah, a little coast to coast right there. Parks, good dribbler. Second one that for Lorenzo went in and out. They're under a minute to go, now 25 seconds. Florida no good, brought down by Jade Wint. Intercepted by James. Yeah, what she should have did, it was a nice steal, but she should have waited for her teammates to come back down, get set. Shot air ball, Brockton takes over. So I think that's in the same book as travel and double dribble. That's something new every day. Shot clock off, 15 seconds to go in the first half, 23 15, Brockton. for three, four seconds left, and it's good. Ooh, nice shot by Depina. She was hitting those shots in the, um, the warm-ups. So 
you know, we know she can shoot that shot. Well, as it sounds, the first half has come to an end. It is 26 to 15, Brockton up by 11. Miles, what did you see in that first half what, that Brockton I, did right? What can they improve on? Well, they can improve on their um, passing a little bit, but they did a great job getting the offensive rebounds, fought hard on the defensive boards, um, went in um, Fernandez dynamite from the outside has given them this uh, 11 point lead so right now they're looking pretty good. Hilltoppers have some things to work on however their their highlights Shaylin Carrero and Nicole Parks was brought enough to do shut those two sh shut those two down. Well play a little tighter defense they're playing good defense now but they could tighten it up a little bit sometimes they let Durfee creep back in but they don't want to do that in the second half they never want to let a team get back in the uh, game in the fourth quarter. It's 26 to 15, Brockton up by 11 over their big three divisional rivals, the Durfee Hilltoppers at halftime. We're gonna step aside, take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. You don't have to be so strong. Strength is not optional. This is my mother, my purpose. Real muscle is lifting her spirits between bedpans and bad news from doctors that doubt her strength. Strength is buried in bills, managing meds and swallowing those moments of, mom, it's me. Your daughter, remember? My strength is super, but I'm still human, right? Find support for your strength. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Class, today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused. Fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key? is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. <laughs> Get caught buzz driving and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. At work or at play, you're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Oh, hey. She's cute. Nice going, man. Things are going great for you. You've earned a night out. Good drinks, good friends. Yeah, <laughs> we can go ahead and call this a good night. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Not smart. Yeah, I saw that coming. Say goodbye to her. Ouch. That'll hurt your bank account. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. I hope you like eating frozen dinners alone. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Hey Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming! We're going back Yeah! I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi babe, how was school today? Hi, Dad. It was great. Okay, honey, I'll be home soon. 
Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless kung fu artifacts. But when you make an effort. Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son. It's always worth it. Whoa, master. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Durfee Hilltoppers and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Jordan alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. Miles Brockton carrying in an 11 point lead into the second half. They've been trading blows on rebounds and not a lot of shots have been falling. Yeah, well, if Durfee wants to get back in this game, they can't throw errant passes like that where Brox is going to steal him. Brox is playing good defense tonight. Hernandez running into Wint and now Williams has it. Hernandez thought about the three works away and sends it off to Williams. Wint, Smith for the shot clock. Two on the shot clock. Last second prayer is off the rim. No good. Jerky comes down with the rebound. Wow. Wink throwing it confident. Travel. There was many different number of calls that you could have called on that. Wow, that was so quick. Travel? Yeah, I mean, once she hit the ground with the ball, she threw it. She passed it. She kept the whistle off on that situation. It was a great effort by Wink. Went now inside off the side of the backboard. Carrero comes down with it. Callahan takes three steps with it. Katera James from the boxes off the rim and good. Went blocked from behind by Parts. Officiating has not been very yeah, consistent. It should have been a foul call there. There was contact. Double dribble. A double dribble on James. Went to Fernandez. Two minutes into the third quarter, 26-17. Nine point edge for the boxers. And Fernandez can't hold on to it. Bounce pass from Carrero. And Carrero has it. Parks finding a hole in a lane. And she's followed by Wintz. Yeah, Parks is very quick. When she gets that ball, Nicole goes right to the basket. You gotta be careful because she is lightning fast. Like she's comfortable at the free throw line when she sets herself. Gets a feel of that ball, takes a couple of dribbles. Looks up at the basket, a few more dribbles. No good on her second win, coming down with it. Could have called over the back on Carrero, didn't. Williams to Fernandez. Thought about the three. And now sends it all the way across from Jayla Smith. Williams able to get away from Callahan for a pass intercepted by Parks. Smith calls to the arm bar. Rivera, three, good. Time out, Rocky. Looks currently not impressed with the effort he saw in that last play for Jayla Smith. Yeah, you can hear him calling out Jayla to get on her man, and she got over there too late, and uh, she hit the shot. 
put this game down to a five point boxer lead. 5.20 in the third quarter. Durfee has got a little momentum at the moment. A little dance off going on at the scorer's table between school board operator Rodney and one of the officials. Chris <laughs> Connolly definitely chewing out Taylor Smith in the timeout huddle. Jade Went and Alicia Fernandez. Good communication. Carrero to Rivera to Parts. Parts splitting the defense high off grass and in. Exactly right, Mad Dog. She split the defense, got in there, and made the shot. It's Williams to Montero. Her three, no good. Carrero tipping the rebound back to. Montero still on the floor at half court, and it's going to be a jump ball. I like how Montero got in there for that whistle. Twenty-eight, twenty-three, four and a half to go in the third quarter. Went to Williams. Back to Went. Inside spinning shot. No good. Call this against Durfee. Yeah, good hustle there by uh, Jayla Smith to get in there. Bodies were banging. They called a foul on the uh, Hilltoppers. Went three. Air ball. Guerrero comes down with it. Yeah, I think Went was a little bit too far out. She could have came in a step. Or two. Callahan three, no good. Burrow offensive rebound. Hands it off to James. James three, no good. Another offensive board for the Hilltoppers. This one to Rivera. Now Callahan to Carrero. And she's fouled coming in one. From Shailen Carrero. Nailani Montero, I believe Lorenzo replaces her. Montero, good. Oh, and then free throw shot. Went to Williams. Fernandez out to Lorenzo. Out to Williams. Morgan Smith, her three off the glass, no good. Hilltoppers coming down with the rebound. Good defense. Fernandez with it. Stuck in the end of the These refs are really letting the teams play, play in some yeah. aspects, but they're calling ticky tack fouls on the other. You're right. In some aspects, they're letting the teams play. But at times, you're right, Mad Dog. They're calling some ticky tack fouls. Especially on the lady boxers. The ref to our left just threatening Coach Connolly with a tech if he continues to verbally berate the officials. Parks moves it to Jill Smith to stop for it, jump ball. Yeah, she sure did. Well, they're going to call a foul on Parts. Lucia Elman. Come 
back into the game for Durfee. Yeah, good defense there. The shot was blocked. I think it surprised Lorenzo. Parts to James. James driving baseline. An offensive foul called on Katera James. She can't believe it. Nice job, uh, Fernandez, standing her ground. Almon in for Parks. Fernandez loses it. Gets it to Williams. Lorenzo. Thought about the three for a long time. Now well, Wentz spinning hook is good. Nice little baby hook by Jade Went. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar would be proud. Rivera, far corner. Permits a travel, not called. Now Rivera driving the side to Guerrero is good. Nice job of Correll moving without the basketball in the paint, received the pass and put it right in. Well, Drop. It was one handed for Lorenzo. Lady Hilltop is back in this ball game, only down by two. 30 28, a minute and a half to go. Game went three, too much. Got a play off of Brockton. Wentz got a little cold on the outside shooting her last couple of times. One, three, no good for Callahan. Offensive board to Rivera. Back to Callahan. Tannis coming into the game for Brockton. Lorenzo to Williams, who's hit from behind for Callahan, no call. Woo! Oh. I think she was surprised that they opened up the lane for her. She should have put up a little bit harder, but I think it kind of surprised her how open she became when she got in that red paint. Tennis in for Wint. Yeah, Wint getting a well-deserved rest. James working against Montron. Follow called. Terrace called for the reach. Her third personal. Thirty twenty eight fifty two point five to go in the third quarter. Terrace missing her first attempt. Second one blocked from out there. Lorenzo either has to get it off more quickly or be a better judge if you got that defense on you. Yeah, that was just a good hustle by Carrero. She came out of nowhere, put a little speed on him. Nicely stole that pass. James, bad angle too low. Shot clock off, 20 seconds to go. Lorenzo able to get it to Fernandez. Seconds to go in the third quarter. It's a one point edge for the boxers. 30 to 29. Three seconds and a three for Fernandez. Oh, that, was the wow. that was pretty. 33 to 29, a four point edge for the boxers at the end of the third quarter. Yeah, well, that's, that's what they're going to need in the fourth quarter. That outside shooting by Fernandez and went. A um, little bit more contribution from a few other the few other lady boxes, and uh, they should make this uh, make this game very interesting. But they're going to need some uh, more contribution on the offense from a few other lady boxer players. As promised, Miles Super Bowl prediction. Well, my prediction is New England 31. Philly. Philly, yes, I just went blank. 17. 
17 for the Eagles. 31-17. So that's the biggest spread we've heard this week. Sonny Okinola says 28 to 24. Okay. Pass. Of course. Alex Gennaro said the Patriots are going to win by a touchdown. Or if it's a really close game, they'll win by four. And I've got Pats by 10, 31, 21. Fernandez to Williams. Layla to Pina and Williams to Wint. Jayla Smith, three, no good. I'm gonna call a jump at some point. Parts back into the game, replacing Callahan. A little quick breath for Callahan. Coach Brandon Kelly says, let me know when you're ready for first time. Get a quick breather, catch your breath, get some water. Went back into the game. Williams. Fernandez, three, no good. Wide right, Carrero with the rebound. She's having a nice room up there. Yeah, she's really the only work on the boards for Carrero. It's a question of possession. Session didn't change the shot clock reset. Shot clock to be reset at 20 seconds. Durfee with the possession in which they don't have the full 30 seconds. James pump fake gives it to Rivera. Inside for Parks, who's being worked on by James Wink. Now James to Alimon inside for Carrero. Carrero spinning off the backboard, no good. Rocking comes down with it. Yeah, nice job blocking out on defense for the boxes underneath the basket. Williams to Fernandez. Trying to force it to Wick, taken by Katera James. Jump ball call. Nice job of the Lady Boxers getting down with the on the court with their transition game. They just couldn't quite finish that off. Here we go. Nice pass by Williams underneath to Fernandez. Very alert play. Caught the defense sleeping, I believe. Pena coming down with this one. Williams up to Fernandez, a little bit too long. Look. Fernandez able to get it to Smith. He got it to the Pena for a three, no good. 6.84, the box is 35-29. Yeah, that was an ill-advised pass. Not sure what that was. These refs are really letting these two teams play. The block for Fernandez. He now has the ball. Spinning with it. Losing it to Jill Smith, sent out to Williams. Tapina, long two, no good. Durfee 
thinking about calling a timeout as Ooh. Fernandez comes up with another one. Nice, nice defense by Fernandez. He anticipated that, timed it perfectly. Clean block. Between the three, bang. Yeah, that's her second three this afternoon. She can hit that shot. Callahan gonna come back into the game and a timeout. Timeout called with 19 seconds on the shot clock. Yeah. Coach Kelly started yelling timeout when there was 26 seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, he's not too happy with his team at the moment. They were only down by three points, I believe. And all of a sudden, now they're down by seven. Not a lot of points, but still, he saw his team uh, lose focus there for a, a minute. That's all it takes with these lady boxes. I want to take this opportunity to thank the cast and crew for bringing you the sights and sounds from Staff Gymnasium. Short crew tonight with Katya Andrade on camera and Mike, the postman Simmons. Yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. Of course, you are listening to the sultry sounds, the golden tones of myself, the Mad Dog, Matt Nelson, and big game, Miles Jackson. Tuesday night, right here at Staff Gymnasium, the New Bedford Whalers, the Brockton Boxers. Brockton has a chance to go undefeated in the big three. They are at Durfee right now playing their men's team. They're winning that game as is expected, the undefeated boxers. One game between now and then, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Newton North coming to town. Rockton ranked number one in the state by the Globe, and Newton North ranked number two. That's going to be an explosive situation down here at Staff Gymnasium on Super Bowl Sunday afternoon. Called for a push. And Burrow will be at the line for two shots. Burrow to a two makes it 38 to 33. Fernandez for Lapina and Wentz. Brockton playing a little bit of a clock game early here. Smith, three, no good. 0 for 4 beyond the arc. Yeah, she's having a tough night trying to hit that shot up from outside. Jared James, Carrero, long two, no good. If she was behind the arc, that was going in. Fernandez comes up with a loose ball. She's fouled by Correa, no call. But with the peanut down there, she's fouled, and the refs finally blow the whistle. Yeah. Nice job by Fernandez, working her way up the court, found um, the peanut open. She went up for the shot, almost went in, got fouled. Now she's at the free throw line. One or two, this one thrown off the shoulder of Parks. Shot of the against Rivera. And that's what you can't do when you only got three minutes and 14 seconds left and your team is down by six points. You can ill afford to make a mental mistake like that. Williams. Renzel's been cold tonight. Over to Callahan to park, she's fouled. Apparently now they're calling blocks. Yeah, Fernandez being very aggressive on that play and made body contact.
James, three, no good. Pina Fernandez, Fernandez spinning shot, no good. Smith in the area, carried it on foot. Putting the defense again, bobbing and weaving throughout the boxers, and Fernandez comes down with the rebound, jump ball is called. It's quite a job of uh, Pereira. Slicing through the defense, getting off a shot. Fernandez off the glass and in. Wow, that was just smart. Defense and athletic play on offense. Somehow she sliced through that defense and made an unbelievable shot. Dupita tapping it to Williams. 1.45 to go. Brockton. Yeah, yeah, that was a good foul. Too much body contact as she was bringing up, bringing up the basketball. Brockton's not in the bonus yet. Again. Now a one-on-one -on -one situation. Well, one called against Anoush Aliman. Yeah, now we'll see if uh, the foul pays off if uh, Went misses it and Durfee gets the rebound. But unfortunately for uh, Durfee, Went's a good free throw shooter. Junior. Burrell has a stole from behind from Williams now. Alamon all the way across to Katera James. Three, no good. James went foul. Yeah, I can hear the foul. Contact from over here at half court. Good call right there. Good hustle by Wynn on the defensive boards. Jade Wynn, she plays full tilt the whole game. She just has a good attitude out there about hustling and doing her job. Five thirty-three. This one, I would say, is out of reach, but never say never. James to Carrero. Carrero hawks up a three, and she's fouled. And it's going to be three free throws for Shaylin Carrero. Would you say she hawked up a three? She, she, she hawked up a three. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that was a desperate three with them being down by 11 points. It's 45-35, 10 point edge, Carrero missing the third. They're getting her own rebound, counted in one for Shaylin Carrero, and that makes it a much different game. Yeah, nice job by uh, Derby Hilltop and Lady Hilltoppers crashing the boards. 
They know they're in a deep hole. 10 point hole at the moment, 110 left in this ball game. Jayla Smith called for her fourth personal. Come out called Durfee 45 to 38, 110 to go. It's seven point lead for the Hilltoppers. Miles, what is Brockton have to do? I want to say escape would be the word here because Durfee's been pouring it on. Yeah, I think what they have to do when they inbound the basketball, they're going to have to spread out their offense. They do a good job just passing the ball up court without much dribble. I think that's, that's what they're going to have to do to um, take some time off this clock and um, keep the ball keep the ball in the air so that the Hill, Lady Hilltoppers will not foul you. Once you get the ball passed to somebody because that's the Hilltoppers game plan is to foul once that uh, Brockton Boxer has the basketball. So the Boxers got to pass it quickly to get some time off that clock and prevent the Lady Hilltoppers from fouling them. <laughs> Williams to inbound for Brockton. Durfee's playing the, well, they are playing the, we don't care if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, we're counting on them to miss it, and if they make two, well, at least we get possession with some time left. Terry James in. Templar with Pina grabbing the ball, but now there's a scrum on the floor. And a timeout called by Coach Chris Connolly, who looks very satisfied that the refs gave him that and didn't call a trout. Yeah, yeah, that was a, um, that was a um, favorable call for the Lady Boxes. Nice hustle out there by the Pina going to down to the floor, mixing it up with the Lady Hilltoppers. Go. The last seven seconds, Miles have taken approximately four minutes. Yeah, it sure has. It's, well, because of uh, Lady Hilltop's game plan by Coach Brendan Kelly, he wants, he wants his Lady Hilltoppers to follow the Lady Boxes as soon as they get the basketball. So far, it's worked. They've cut this lead down to uh, seven points with uh, 103 left in the ball game. See, in a case like that, the inbound, the person inbound the ball, got to know, throw it out towards middle court. You've got your offensive player. We'll get that, we'll come after that basketball. Williams tipping this one and coming up with a loose ball, but Anish Alamon has it. Lila Vipina comes up with a steal. She's fired immediately by Carrero. Yeah, nice heads up play by Vipina. Coming after the basketball. And she will be rewarded at the free throw line. Shalimon. 45-38, 48 48.6 to go. Leila DePina at the line for two shots. Go for two. She went grabbing the rebound. Yeah, she was pulled down to the ground. 
by number 35. That was Carrero. Durfee's captain. No, she made one of two. That was a big shot. That one point. Makes it an eight-point call game. Jayla Smith comes up with a steal. Yeah, nice job by Jayla. Derek James. Oh. For the foul. One thing about Jayla, she might be small, but she likes to mix it up, go after the steals. She gets her hands in there and makes it tough for that. Uh, for that guard to uh, bring the ball down. Catherine Callahan in for Rivera. That's a still talk until it's all really heard one. Yeah. Gee. Parts follows Fernandez. It's got to be a line somewhere where you say, all right, there's 26 seconds left. They've got a double bonus situation. We're down 10. Yes. It might be a little out of reach at this point. Yeah, one thing that Durfee is lacking. They, they lack that guard that can bring the ball down uh, and dish it to whoever they feel the need to dish it to to, to control that basketball. I gotta give credit where credit's due. I love to never say die attitude here for Durfee, but Parks committed an offensive foul on Fernandez who's fighting. Yeah, Jade Witt again being smart on the defensive end. Planting her feet, and letting the uh, lady box, excuse me, lady uh, Hilltop will drive into her, and an offensive cop foul was called. And the lady Hilltop is know it's over. Well, Coach Kelly gave the high sign for no foul. The refs are going to let the five second violation on the boxes go. And Brockton has punched his share of the big three division and an automatic berth into the MIAA Sussex for the playoffs. Miles, a 12 point win, 50 to 38, your final score. 50 to 38, your score, Miles. Talk about what you saw this game well, and how Durfee was able to pull it kind of close there in the end. Yep, uh, all of a sudden, the Lady Boxers got a little cold from the de Durfee defense, and Durfee kind of clawed their way back into it, but then Brockton knew that they could not let Durfee uh, come out of here with uh, a big three win and the Lady Boxers just put a lot of extra effort in letting that not happen. Miles Brockton now has to get ready for the playoffs. They've got a few more games, uh, six of them I believe. Just one of them are here at Staff Gymnasium. How do you go into that tough stretch? Yeah, that, that you took the words right out of my mouth. That's gonna be very tough for the Lady Boxers. They feel real comfortable here at Staff Gymnasium when they play an opponent, but it's gonna be tough for them to go on the road. Well, we're gonna get Coach Chris Connolly's thoughts on a big one. Here with Coach Connolly, Coach, a big win. Durfee put their foot on the gas pedal there at the end, started following like crazy to stop the clock. What was the message in a couple of the timeouts? Uh, we had we to pick it up a little bit there. We, we got a little complacent, I felt. Um, they were, we weren't putting enough pressure on the ball. When we were first half, we had four 17 turnovers. And then um, we, we had, this was crazy, the amount of turnovers we, we had. Maybe it was 12 and then 17, something like that. A lot of turnovers, close to 30 tonight we forced. Um, Layla DePina today. Layla DePina. We needed somebody else to step up other than Jade and, and Alicia. Uh, she got her chance today and she, she performed it. And um, she, she, she played great. She played great. Talk about the games for Anna Alicia Fernandez. Jade Wint had a big one. And Layla DePina. Yeah, Anna, um, Anna the last few games has just been really carrying it and picking this up for us and uh you know um 30 points last game against notre dame 19 tonight another double double for maybe even a triple double with her steals i'm not sure i have to look over there but um you know she it's, this is her last year you know we, we had a meeting a few weeks ago and basically said um 
we want to, do you want to end it at the 16th or do you want to end this on a tournament run? And we're playing our best basketball since last Friday, BR. We're getting better and better and better every single day. A lot of our practices now with so many games have been a lot of mental stuff. And um, they're, they're really getting it. Our defense was phenomenal. 15 points we held them to the first half. They, um, they had 20 in the first quarter against us last time we played them. Well, for the second straight Friday night here at Staff Gymnasium, the referees have been questionable, we'll call it. Talk about how you prepare your team for that and does it get into their heads a little bit when they're calling things on one side of the floor but not the other. They're letting them play. There's a lot of contact, a physical scrappy game. Yeah, I mean, we like the physical scrappy stuff, but um, we also, I, I felt like they were traveling oh, the whole game. Every time they were catching the ball, they were traveling and it wasn't being called. And every time we said it's something, they were telling me, yeah, they see it too, but they didn't do anything about it. So a 50 to 38 victory for you guys. You've got a game Tuesday and then next Friday. Kind yeah. of a tough week for you guys uh, this week, but now you've got some time to kind of really prepare. You've had three games in four days. Yep, yeah, yeah. No, I think it worked out good for us. I think it worked, really worked out good for us. Um, get, go into the three games. We needed that stretch because we've had so much time off, and this kind of got us more game reps that we needed today. So, the boxers back at it Tuesday night. New Bedford on the slate to determine the entire big three. Yep. Uh, you guys have already clinched a share of it. Uh, so, you have at least got it to the playoffs. That much is guaranteed. Uh, but New Bedford, Tuesday night, that one's on the road. The boys are here on Sunday against Newton North and then again Tuesday against the New Bedford Whalers. We'll have both of them for you on Brockton Community Access. Your final score, 50 to 38. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, our camera guys, Katya Andrade, Mike, the postman, Simmons, yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. My broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.